Hey everyone, Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps, and today we're just doing a quick little video uh, touching on a couple uh, subjects um, recently inquired of me. I guess that's probably the wrong way of saying that, but anyway, <laughs> someone asked if I could do a demo on our uh, little bubbling cauldron uh, bath bombs, so we're going to do that today, and I'm going to show you how I wrap them as well. And then uh, other sites I uh, have posted, and I'm sure those of you who make these get the same question. When people say on your, your fancy ice cream cone soaps, but they're too pretty to use, or how would you ever use that? And I'm going to show you um, what I tell everybody. So <laughs> anyway, we'll get on with the, the bath bomb demo. And uh, these are our little bubbling cauldron bath bombs and what I would do before using these is I would pick out all the the little candy pearls because really they may dissolve in your tub but just in case you don't want these going down your drain and tangling with the whatever is already there like hair or whatever so uh, I, may, I would take those off first now these have uh, SLSA in them and uh, oh, there's the little the little flakies are already bubbling this will do best when you hold it under running water but I'm going to show you first just submerging it and I've got a sink of warm water here and already you've got the bubbling wonderful bubbling going on but watch when I turn on the water and we hold it under. This is where you're going to get your luxurious bubbles for your bubble bath. When you hold it under the water and just let it run. You can roll it around in there. Bring it back under the tub and look at all the bubbles that are coming out. Wonderful, wonderful bubbles. Turn that. Not quite so hot. <laughs> My hands are getting burned. But anyway, here you go. You've got some great bubbles. And what fun for the kids. If they sit in the tub as the water's running. And just play with this under the water to get all their bubbles. Talk about fantastic. So anyway, we're going to let that finish its thing in my sink here and uh, we'll move on to the next subject which is, and I will adjust the camera over to the clean side of the sink, which is what do you do with the cupcake soaps or the really pretty uh, ice cream cone soaps and how do you use them or they're too pretty to use, it's a really irritating question for us soap artisans because it's so easy it's a bar of soap folks what i did with this one is first i cut it in half okay so you could put this one off to the side i put this one off it'll scent your bathroom while you're using the other pieces the other pieces i simply cut into smaller pieces and then take a washcloth these washcloths are really cool. Um, I make these. Um, I should have got the skein of yarn over. Um, but they're they're called 24-7, and I can't remember who makes them, but it's a really nice uh, cotton yarn. It's very soft, 100% cotton, and I make these wonderful washcloths. I also make soap savers out of this, which are really cool. But uh, here, just uh, wet it down in our water. Just wet it down. And you've got a wonderful way to lather up with your bars of soap. Everybody washes with a soap and a washcloth, right? So there you go with your washcloth. And uh, you get clean like that. Wonderful. So that's really easy. And then you just... Uh, Rinse your washcloth out and hang it over your faucet to dry. Oh, this is so soft. <laughs> it 
So soft. I love it. I love it. So anyway, that's what you do with the cupcake soaps. You cut them in half or into pieces uh, and just use them with a washcloth. It's just as simple as that, folks. Don't make it more complicated than it is. Bubble, bubble. Toil and trouble. You see our cauldron. Oh, you can't see. He's still bubbling away in there. I just rinsed it out here. And we've still got we've still got fizzing going on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we're moving on to the next project. I'm gonna move you over here, which is decorating our Halloween cauldron bath bombs. So what I've got here, I've got my stickers, I've got some curling ribbon, and I have these sheets of tissue paper. Now I ordered these off of eBay. I don't have a party supply place here in town, but um, you can probably go to your party supply place. Um, these look like, I think these are like, uh, well, I would tell you the dimensions, but I'm filming with my phone. But anyway, you can kind of tell they're uh, maybe an 15 inch by 18 sheets of uh, tissue paper. And then they're rectangular. And I have put the orange one going this way. Let me zoom back out here. So I have, have it going lengthways this way. I'm going to take the black one and put it lengthways the other way. And then I take our, our little cauldrons and I have, I've taken the cauldrons, put the handle down, put the handle down, wrapped it tight in a cello bag, twisted it and put a twist tie around the top. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to set it right in the center. Okay, so I've got the orange on the bottom, the black on the top. You could reverse this if you want and do it the other way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach under and I'm going to bring all these sides up so that you're kind of holding it like so. I'm going to fluff out my edges here. Kind of give it, give it a little twist around. And then I have my um, half pieces of uh, twist ties. I've got this in gold actually and I cut them in half they're a little short but I didn't want to use a whole twist tie anyway so you just kind of fluff your edges kind of make it look very festive with the black and the orange right then I've got my curling ribbon and I probably cut off about a 12 inch 12 inch piece of orange and a 12 inch piece of black and I'm just going to wrap it around the the neck of this little bouquet so right there I'm going to evenly tie tie that off so the ends are even so you've got that you want to curl your ends so you take your pair of scissors everybody knows this trick I'm assuming and just Run them between your finger, oops, like so, just to get your ribbon to curl. So there we've got our little curled ribbon right there. And then it's time for the stickers. So what I have is our, our Dirty Booty Soaps labels. Those I put on the front, like so. All right, and the ingredients labels for the bath bombs I put on the very bottom. All right, so right on the bottom where it's going to sit. And there you go. They turn out really cute. Like I say, you can change it up, put the black on the outside, the orange on the inside, and I might do that with a few of them just to change it up a little. But that's how I'm wrapping my little cauldron bath bombs. So we're all festive for Halloween, 
Um, I've got these. I also did some, I don't have any here, I put them downstairs, but I did some really cool melt and pour soaps with a, a jack-o'-lantern and some black lace and a bat um, suspended in clear melt and pour. So I did those. If you go over to my Facebook page, you'll see pictures of all this or on Instagram. Just look up Dirty Booty Soaps. Give us a follow. Um, and you'll see you'll see things that I don't show what I make. You know what I mean? I don't show the, the how-to videos of. But if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see all the pictures. So, But anyway, that's it for this video. We got our uh, cauldron bomb demo and how to wrap them. And then how to use our uh, our ice cream cone soaps. Because... People just don't know, I guess, you know. They make too much of it. It's very easy. They're soap. Use it with a washcloth. And then uh, we've got our fizzling uh, cauldrons. Look, he's still going. He's still going. Oh, my goodness. That's a great little bath bomb. So how fun is that? Ooh, and it smells so good with that watermelon fragrance. So anyway, check out our Facebook, give us, a, give us a like and follow us on Facebook. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe and you'll be notified whenever a new video pops up. So until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.